Welcome to the Insurance Marketing Brain Dump. My name is Kagan with Brightby.com, where we help insurance agents be found online. I'm here with Chris Paradiso, Paradiso Insurance, Paradiso Presents. What's up? And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, we Very special the guest. Liberty Mutual Safeco event. And uh, we have Brooke here. She is the evangelist for specialty lines for Safeco. How awesome Welcome. is that? Evangelist. Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for being here. Okay, so really quick before we get started, we would just want to remind everyone to like and subscribe uh, to this channel. Make sure you comment, say hello to Brooke, and uh, let's get started here. All so right. just to give you kind of some ground rules here, we are here to brainstorm and brain dump, okay? I love that word. Um, so and dump all the knowledge, we everything want of importance. Everything, Got it. all right? So I want to jump into a little bit first off of understanding what you do and how you're doing it with insurance agents. And then I wanna jump into some things that we talked about a couple minutes ago before we got on. All right, uh, my role with Safeco is to help uh, build the brand and voice for specialty products for Safeco agents. But really uh, what I'm here to do is evangelize about the value of the specialty customer and how independent agents can stand out in a really crowded commoditized market, focusing on boat, bike, classic car, RV, off-road vehicles, landlord, and a number of other products as well. I think there's a brain dump already. Stand out in a very busy, loud world. Absolutely. It is the truth. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit more about how you do that. So you told me a little bit about what you do. You actually work from home a lot of the time, but you do I travel do. a little bit. I work from um, home. So how do you work with insurance agents when you're working from home? Well, uh, a few different ways. Sometimes I go to agent meetings uh, and, and present to agents. Um, I do it through email, through social media. I develop and design campaigns, marketing materials, um, put to out a great info. I think it's great. It's mine. Of course, I think it's great, right? But <laughs> sure. I put out an infographic Self-proclaimed. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. Love right? it. <laughs> uh, infographic uh, to talk to agents about the value of the specialty customer that by focusing on someone with a boat a bike a classic car even a landlord um, that you can uh, net policies it'll give you two times the written premium it'll give you a uh, better account retention better uh, new business count per policy it'll give you better loss results so instead of focusing on the same home and auto customer that every other agents focusing on mm -hmm. uh, by looking at a specialty customer you can actually uh, financially benefit at your top line and bottom line. Okay. Wow. That's a all lot. right. Well, she's, but, but, she's but never you, done this but, before. But you said another brain dump, <laughs> uh, which is key, right? Um, it's going to keep clients longer when you're writing these type of specialty niche markets, right? Absolutely. Which, so. for all of us who are agency owners, that means dollars and cents from multiple years. So the amount of money that it actually brings. We think of it, okay, we sell a motorcycle, we sell a boat, well, we just made $20. No, you didn't. Because when you have the home auto umbrella and that, you're gonna keep it longer. The dollars and cents are are huge. It is so very vital, vitally important. You are absolutely right. When we look across our Liberty Book of Business uh, and also within the Safeco Book of Business, we see that uh, those customers prefer uh, to uh, stick with one insurance agency when they find someone who really gets them and this passion project that they have, this classic car mm -hmm. that they love more than anything else, they will stick with that agent. And they'll also refer their friends and family and people that belong to their car club or at the marina where they keep their boat, other landlords that they know. The great thing about specialty customers is they socialize together uh, and you can often find them at a car show cruise in, at a motorcycle charity event. They'll tell their friends and family about about you if they think that you know and understand them and that you understand their love of this vehicle, that bike, their off-road vehicle, the time uh, adventuring off-road, whatever it is. Awesome. Okay, so how do we jump into this more? So people, people say, okay, I wanna get more into the specialty lines and they don't really know where to start. So help us get some ideas of where we can start and maybe even those who have started but really want to you know, ramp that up. What does that look like? What are some ideas that we can we can throw out here? Gotcha. So there's a few easy ways to get started. One, do you happen to own a special vehicle yourself? Or is it an area that you've always been interested in? You can spend 30 minutes online and, and learn virtually everything so you ever need to know. it gives us a really good reason to go buy something if we don't have something, Absolutely. Right? <laughs> go buy a classic car. That's right. Right. Uh, or spend some can time. Can we borrow your credit card when we go buy that? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how far you'd get. <laughs> 
uh, but absolutely, right? So you can uh, spend time with people who have them uh, and, and build up some expertise. You can do online internet research. You can go visit a local mechanic and by the way, offer to insure their mechanic shop. Uh, you can also go visit uh, um, marinas or dealerships try to set up a referral partnership within this uh, business as well and try to get their commercial insurance so there's lots of great opportunities to grow personal and commercial lines I think the key factor well. the real key factor of everything you just said is we got to get our heinies off those couches and get prospecting get marketing not just think of the ideas the ideas are there right and I know everybody's probably saying ideas right that's just how I say it I don't say idea sorry <laughs> but that idea you got to get your hiney off the couch and get out and do it. Well, Chris, you know? one of the things that you're doing is you create a lot of content with your classic cars that you have. Absolutely. So you, you're you always posting like, hey, I got this car or, you know, I'm taking this car out on Sunday, you know, with I think it was like with your uncle or something. My or cousin. Cousin. Or, yeah. And so, you know, creating that content definitely is is breaking down potential barriers that you would have with some I think we did clients. a brain dump. One of our first episodes was breaking Breaking, breaking down, down barriers. barriers, right? Yeah. And niche, niche, niche. Everybody talks about niche, but people aren't doing it. Since we started niching, uh, the volume of growth is, I, I can't even explain how big it is. It's so much easier to grow when you niche. Find a niche. If you're a camper and you love these big, I mean, these are hundred, two hundred thousand dollar $200,000 campers these people are buying today. These things are real money, if not more. Find a niche. If you love that and you, you have a passion, that's what you like to do, Hit those camp, those um, those those dealers, those camper dealers. They're they're huge. We have one in our backyard. I said to him, God, you gotta have a hundred million dollars on the lot here. Hit those people. Okay, so we say hit them, and, and everyone's like, uh, okay, so I'm just gonna walk in and I'm just gonna start selling myself. No, and it doesn't work. That, that doesn't way. work that way. Okay, so let's talk about what are some ways that we can reach these people. And, and actually break down that barrier uh, without just walking in and trying to sell yourself. And Start on Twitter. Out. Find them. Hashtag, hey, how you doing? We're, we live in the same community. Make conversation. Engage with them. But don't treat them like a, like a third grader, right? We got to have respect. We got to, I'll always say hashtag, relationships matter. Mm -hmm. And treat it like a relationship, just like we're sitting here talking, standing here talking. We got to make sure that I mean, I love Twitter because you can literally reach whoever you want to reach. Just imagine you can reach the president of the United States directly. It's powerful. It's such a powerful little tool. The other tool, what, what's wrong with LinkedIn? There's nothing wrong with LinkedIn. I know. I love We're LinkedIn. We're talking to I LinkedIn. I love LinkedIn. <laughs> oh, two, we got two LinkedIn. I'm in love with okay. LinkedIn. Uh, no, definitely. And then, you know, of course, uh, your faith, Pinterest, is I definitely. love Pinterest for it. What would you what would you recommend to agents? What are you seeing out there that agents are doing? How are they being able to to niche and connect? How are, are they going through social media? Are they doing direct mail? I still love direct mail and think print is still valuable to the right people and the right audience. What do you think? I think the most successful agents have a number of different ways that they're trying to reach their customers. So direct mail is effective if you know about your investment and what your return is going to be. Um, also super effective to go to dealerships. When we talk to RV, boat motor cycle dealerships, about 80% of them do not have a person that is their insurance agent that they can refer customers to. Lots of folks come in on a Saturday to buy an RV uh, and they'll say, hey, have you talked to my, uh, my friend Chris? He'll take good care of you. Um, another great way to do it is to show up at events, take photographs, uh, and be the person who's known as the insurance agent who's at classic car events. If you follow me on Facebook, you'll see a lot of that, actually. Whatever car has caught my fancy, whoever I met and talked to, um, go to RV, uh, RV dealerships, RV shows. Same thing for boat shows. So there's a lot of opportunity out there to see and be seen and just start meeting people, shaking hands. Um, and I, I think a great way is still just to go into a dealership and start building a relationship the same way that you do with old a- Old fashioned way. Old fashioned. So the same way that you do with a, a mortgage office or loan officer, mortgage brokers, you establish the relationship, it's the same way. One quick thing is uh, in the hall over here, uh, your team showed a really cool chat a chat to quote on a boat, which is going to be coming for campers, right? How cool is that, that within about three minutes, four minutes max, the chat actually asks the questions and the quote comes off for the boat. And they take a picture of the license, it runs everything. It's 
a really cool product. It and is. I, I think I, I think it's going to continue to change and evolve the industry with products like this. I, I thought it was instrumental in the senses as an agency does not have to man that. There's no manpower. It's a chatbot that's just asking the next question. The next question well, is well, quick. Well, think about if you were to get a referral partner, um, you know, at one of these places, and they were able to say, you know, hey, you know, all you have to do is text this number, and they'll give you a quote right now. Ask you a few questions about the boat, and then, in you know, less than two minutes, you have a, a quote back uh, from a agent. Um, yeah, but think, of, this think about this. They could legitimately do it. You go in and build a relationship with a boat company, a uh, sales place. You could have them doing it while the client is sitting there. Yeah. It's a bindable quote. Right. Issue to the agency. Right. Not cutting the agent out. The agent's right. still making the money. You're giving them, you're just, you're you're just giving, just them, giving the them the platform. And think about that. It's more profitable. I don't have to put a physical person inside of that. I mean, that's, that, 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 is an, that is a powerful tool that you guys have. Gives uh, agents another channel, right? So the one, cha the one challenge as an independent agent is how am I available to my customers 24-7, 365? Absolutely. Safeco offers gold service for agents to do that, but how do you legitimately become um, the equivalent of a Geico or a Progressive who's available direct to customers any day, any time on their own terms? There are lots of ways that Safeco is looking at to help agents do that. So what would you say you're most excited about what Safeco is doing for the independent agent right now? Oh, you know, I'm most excited about being the carrier champion for independent agent. So thinking about every tool and product that we offer, we offer solid home auto specialty products. Um, we offer lots of ways to get them to agents and customers, but being the carrier who's representing the independent agent that offers the most programs, that offers the most benefits, all of the reasons why independent agents want to have relationships with us, I'm most excited about that. Yeah. Um, so I love coming into work knowing that we're the carrier champion of the independent agent. Yeah, that's kind of y'all's uh, theme uh, this week, right? Carrier. Can champion. I ask a selfish question? One one takeaway from my mini speech this morning. What would you say? Uh, were you in there? I was. What's the one takeaway that that hit you that maybe other agents should should know about that? If there was one message or one little marketing tool or whatever it might be. Oh, that's so hard. Um, your presentation this morning is was awe-inspiring and to think about how independent agents can think differently about their business. It's not about having a walk-in shop uh, where you see your customers every day. Business has evolved. So having multiple ways to connect with the customer, meeting with them on their own terms, communicating with them how they want to be communicated with, um, offering them um, expertise, um, ease, choice, advice, all of the different aspects that consumers really want today, super valuable information. People have changed and they're gonna to continue to evolve and continue to change and we're appreciative that Safeco and Liberty has evolved too. Absolutely. And continues Definitely. to evolve. Yeah, no, and I love the, the theme that I continue to hear is that meeting people where they are and if we can meet people where they are, it's powerful. And it, meeting people where they are doesn't mean that uh, the human aspect is out of it. Correct. It's just that we're utilizing platform or utilizing technology to meet them and, Absolutely. and get in front of them when they're ready, right? Absolutely. And so, no, it's powerful. Well, thank you so much for being thank on. Thank you very this much. This was a lot thank of fun. You thank you for us. having me. And everyone, I think that was a brain dump. Brain dump.